Hi, my name is Dhruv Sani. I'm the CEO and business head for Nurture.Farm. Uh, one of the first areas I think that's really important to focus on is to talk about where the current systems exist, where the current ag tech ecosystem is uh, evolving to. Uh, currently, there's a lot of uh, digitization happening of uh, e-commerce opportunities, both at the input stage as well as at the output stage. And we're also starting to see some great uh, pointed solutions, whether it's biosolutions, farm mechanization, uh, certain advisory uh, leveraging uh, data sciences and remote sensing opportunities that are now quite prevalent and have been around for the last few years. Uh, we're now, I think, firmly stepping into the second stage of this evolution where, uh, you know, the, the initial euphoria and the enthusiasm that has, uh, you know, created these startups and opportunities has paved the way for uh, true platforms that can do an end-to-end uh, service deliver end-to-end -end, uh, uh, opportunities and convenience for farmers. Uh, uh, I believe Nurture.Farm is one such platform. We're, we're starting to see the need to stitch together these various services, these various uh, sort of pointed solutions and interventions that have been successfully built but really haven't scaled. And this is where I think there is a, a great need for platforms to emerge to really start creating language, the right taxonomy, uh, the right interoperability between uh, different uh, uh, ag tech opportunities to create and deliver uh, meaningful uh, solutions at scale. Uh, in times to come, uh, we will see that not everyone will have to or should have the need to create uh, acquisition models uh, and have to spend on them. Uh, today, I believe Nurture is starting to build that foundational uh, work and, and this can actually lead to creating a more unified, interoperable language uh, that, that will actually lead to the third stage evolution that is quite uh, uh, imminent as well in the next 18 to 24 months. The, the role that the platforms have to play is in, in, in the second stage is to kind of create uh, some sort of a, uh, an agri stack uh, which will form the basis of the next set of uh, solutions which will give uh, you know, really in an accelerated way, much better value and convenience to farmers. Uh, we will need to focus on critical things such as uh, privacy. Uh, you know, what is public versus what is private? How do you protect uh, the data for uh, farmers and, and, and consumers in this instance? Uh, and so I believe uh, we, we do need to come together and see how do we create trust within our systems, within our platforms. Uh, that can actually lean on each other and not compete with each other. And, and to this end, I think creating uh, the future revolution for agri-tech uh, becomes uh, absolutely essential. Uh, and, and these building blocks uh, can be foundational in, uh, in moving forward.